Hello friends, this video on oscillations part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 15 before going ahead with part 16. Now let us talk about energy in simple harmonic motion. Now after we discussed force law, we, have, we talked about the force or the restoring force which acts on a particle executing simple harmonic motion. So let us now discuss energy. When I talk of energy, basically we will talk about the mechanical energy. What is mechanical energy? It is nothing but kinetic energy plus potential energy. So we will talk about what is the energy that is possessed by the particle which executes simple harmonic position. Now what do you think would be the velocity of this object as it oscillates or as it undergoes simple harmonic motion? This is how the object moves. Now let us say, let us suppose this is the main position of the object. This is the extreme position. This is the other extreme position. Now when the object moves this way, what do you think? Where will the kinetic energy or don't let's not talk about energy now. What do you think would be the position where the velocity of the particle would be maximum? Whether it is the mean position or it is the extreme position. Think of this situation very practically. When you sit on a swing and somebody pushes you from behind and then you keep swinging. What happens when you go to the extreme end for a fraction of second you feel as if you are static. That is you are not moving. When you go at the extreme end that means for a very fraction of second the velocity becomes zero. So at the extreme end the velocity becomes zero. Whereas the velocity at the mean position is maximum. So the velocity is zero at extreme position. As it comes towards mean position, the velocity increases, reaches a maximum value at mean position and again keeps decreasing and becomes zero at the other extreme position. So in this case, the velocity of the particle is maximum at the mean position and it is zero at the extreme positions. So from this we can see that as the velocity varies, the kinetic energy associated with the particle will also vary and similarly the potential energy associated with the particle will also vary accordingly. So a particle executing simple harmonic motion has both kinetic energy as well as potential energy. So it will have both of them. Kinetic energy as well as potential energy varies between the limits 0 and maximum. How does it vary? Just now I told you that at the mean position velocity is maximum. Now kinetic energy is what? It is nothing but half mv square. So kinetic energy is dependent on velocity. So if velocity is maximum at mean position that means kinetic energy is also maximum at mean position. Velocity zero at the extreme ends mean that kinetic energy is zero at both the extremes. So what happens? Kinetic energy gradually increases as we come towards the mean position and again decreases as we go towards the extreme position. What about potential energy? Put for potential energy, it is just the reverse. For potential energy, it is zero at the mean position whereas it is maximum at the two extreme positions because we know that potential energy is by virtue of height or by virtue of configuration. So when we consider the example of this simple pendulum, the height at the extreme positions is more. If we consider that the origin to be the mean position, that means height at mean position is zero. So potential energy is zero, whereas height at the extreme ends is some positive quantity. Therefore, the potential energy is maximum. So from this we can see that at extreme end, kinetic energy is zero, potential energy is maximum. At the 
Green position, kinetic energy increases to maximum at the cost of the decrease of potential energy. So if one increases, the other has to decrease. That is the law of conservation of energy. I mean both the energies cannot increase to a new value. The total energy has to be constant. So if kinetic energy is zero and potential is maximum, at some other time the potential has to decrease and the kinetic energy has to increase. Now we will discuss kinetic energy as well as potential energy individually. So, thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.